breakfast from Honorable Elachi here. Are you convinced that um, because the resolutions appear majorly recruit uh, 25 new judges for the High Court, 11 new judges for the Court of Appeal, uh, take proposals to the National Council on Administrative Justice or Administration of Justice on how to deal with corruption? And Honorable Ruku here is saying that for the challenges being experienced in the justice sector, it may be important to have conversations of the three heads of the three arms of government. Are you convinced that's the place of uh, those uh, three leaders? Let me start on a positive before I go to that and say there is importance for all of us from the executive to the three arms to respect each other. And regardless of how you feel, mm. it was very unhealthy in a month of January when you're starting the year, you, you, are, you are in war and a war you don't understand. Mm. And then now we come to this, because in the issue of corruption, I have always said, if there is a demon that we need to speak all of us about, is a demon called corruption in Kenya, which we ourselves have inculcated as a country, as a people. So it does not matter whether you're in the executive, whether you're in the legislature, whether you're in the <coughs> judiciary, corruption is a cross. Mm. And so it is a matter that all of us, um, as a people, you, me, as a people, must decide this culture of taking just public resources and leaving our people very helpless. And then at this level, where we just talk as if we are we cosmetic. In fact, we have made it a normal in our lives. You find somebody really celebrating, telling you how he has this mm -hmm. and this, but in his mind, he doesn't remember. In God's eyes, it's not yours. You have stolen, you have taken. It is not. And for me, that should be a discussion for all Kenyans. It is not a discussion for the top alone. All Kenyans seated somewhere do a serious uh, reflection of our, ourselves. And then we say, we are moving in this direction. With the three arms together, we move. But for this one now, in terms of uh, employment, I think uh, if I am asked, mm -hmm. it is for each arm to see how they're employing. We need to see the, the, the process properly, not to go and decide. So does it mean when you decide 36 and maybe you need more, so what happens? So you'll not advertise for more or what happens? Because in terms of employment, I have said, and uh, with humility in January, that uh, you have the Judicial Service Commission, that is what they're supposed to be doing. It is not a matter, because we accepted this constitution. We agreed it is going to guide us. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when we do this way, then we put it into a very, um, Kenyans start feeling, oh, so is the constitution working or have we decided to stop it on that one and find ourselves? But yes, for you to sit down and discuss how we move in 2024, very important. For us to ask ourselves a few questions, and, the, and I have been asking myself, mm -hmm. these three arms were supposed to be, yes, interdependent, but you can work together for the sake of the country. But it, that it did not mean one arm should be very powerful than the other arm. No. <coughs> and that is where this interpretation... Is, 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 there, is there any that appears to be more powerful than the others? Well, you see now, mm -hmm. when each arm, as I think in Parliament, the, the one for legislation, <laughs> our, our arm is the one we have weakened. Let me say this. Because mm -hmm. we have decided to play in the games of two. Yet, if we followed this constitution, Parliament would have been the most powerful arm than any other. Because you do so, the So in laws. the current setup, in the which current is setup, the more powerful? In the current setup? In your, in your assessment. I'm sorry to say in the current setup, we, even though the executive now wants to pull in mm. the way it is moving, mm. it wants to be very strong. Mm. Yet you remember, that's why we devolved power, mm -hmm. so that you don't become very strong. But I can see it is coming in. But the judiciary, because the judiciary, when things are not happening right, there's no place any Kenyan can run to now. So, so you feel it's more powerful than the yes. other two? Yes, yes, and it's-, it's and, and is there a problem with that? The, the problem I have yeah. is where does the ordinary Kenyan 
run to because that judiciary is where the ordinary Kenyan felt would get at least uh, justice. But then now today, you find an ordinary Kenyan land gone, has nobody. And the moment the judge finishes, it is that way. Okay. So what I would wish, at, but that does not mean, mm. I know we have fantastic judges, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. In every arm, we have those who would want to see Kenya move in the right direction. Okay. But we also have those who have taken <coughs> advantage of this constitution and they feel, oh, I am untouchable, I am this. And we need to rework out and ask ourselves. And even when we were doing the national dialogue, how, how did we miss that we could not evaluate uh, the judiciary? How? <laughs> that was not the right thing. Yes, oh, right. you realize we only went back to those political things, but we forgot there was need to bring in something. And you remember at one point, we, because Kenyans, we need to also empower the ombudsman then. So that an ordinary Kenyan who feels completely, I have had no justice when I have gone to court, then can relook and re. I know the judges will say um, you are allowed to review your case. Yes, but if the ombudsman can help me to package it so that I come back to court to review it, so that we have something, a plate right. where a Kenyan can feel a bit safe. I, I hear you, Honorable Elachi, and I want us to.